Here are the basics on how to use a mole map. So with the mole map, we're using it to solve a stoichiometry problem where we're talking about two different compounds. And these compounds can be anything from one reactant to one product, from one reactant and another reactant, from one product and another product. It really doesn't matter as long as you're using two different compounds. So just start at the top here. Not necessarily that we have to start at the top, but if we're going from grams to moles of one compound, we're going to have to use the molar mass of that compound. And the molar mass is in units of grams per mole. If we're going from moles to atoms, molecules, or formula units, we're going to use Avogadro's number. So one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, over on the opposite side, it's the exact same thing. Going from grams to moles or moles to grams, we're using molar mass. Again, in units of grams per mole. And from moles to atoms or, molecule, or molecules formula units, one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, to bridge the gap between two different compounds, first off, we have to have a balanced chemical reaction. And from that balanced chemical reaction, we use the coefficients of the balanced reaction to determine the mole ratio. Now, one other side note. When we're talking about atoms, so on both sides here we have atoms. We are talking about individual elements. When we're talking about molecules, we are talking about covalent compounds, so two nonmetals coming together. And for formula units, we are talking about ionic compounds.